Journey to the Second Ten, Understanding Ordinal Numbers 11 to 20. Hello learners, welcome back. Today, we're going to continue our exciting journey into the world of English numbers. We'll be focusing on a very important topic, ordinal numbers 11 to 20. This can be a bit tricky, but with practice, you'll master it in no time. Before we dive into the specifics, let's quickly recap what ordinal numbers are. Ordinal numbers are numbers that tell us about the position or order of things. They are used when we want to show rank, place, or position in a series. We use them when we are talking about things like the first person in line, the second floor, or the third chapter of a book. Now, let's dive into the ordinal numbers from 11 to 20. They are 11, 11th, 12, 12th, 13th, 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th, 16th, 17th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20, 20th. Notice the pattern? With the exception of 11th, 12th, and 13th, the rest of the numbers just add th at the end of the cardinal number. Let's put these ordinal numbers to use in some sentences. 1. Mary came in the 11th place in the marathon. 2. My birthday is on the 12th of June. 3. The 13th chapter of the book was quite thrilling. 4. They live on the 14th floor of that building. 5. The 15th episode of the series is my favorite. 6. The 16th century was a time of great change in Europe. 7. He was the 17th person to finish the race. 8. The 18th amendment of the Constitution was controversial. 9. Her birthday is on the 19th of November. 10. The 20th century saw incredible advances in technology. Remember, practice is the key to perfecting the use of ordinal numbers in your sentences. We hope this video has been helpful in your journey to learn more about English ordinal numbers, specifically those from 11 to 20. They might seem a bit tricky at first, but with continuous practice, you'll get the hang of it. Keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!